New Lake, page 44, the last two questions for the homework. So question number 257. We want to find the limit for another graph, so I'll just draw that quickly. So the graph goes from negative 3 and at negative 1 it hits positive 3. And there's a gap there. So it comes up like that. And then it comes back down. You can see it's getting closer and closer to 1. From the positive side, it's coming up, coming down, Flattens off at 3. There's a gap there. And it comes down. And keeps coming down. And at 6, there's another gap. And the point is actually at 2 instead of 1. Alright, so when the limit is going to x negative 1, so if we look on the graph, so x is going to negative 1, y is going to 3. Now notice this one's not asking for the limit anymore, it's asking for the actual function value. So the actual function value at negative 1 is actually negative 2. The third one is the function value at 1. So at 1, it's not defined. And that is because it's going to negative infinity, it's going to positive infinity, but there's not actually a function value there. Part D, we're asked for the limit. As x goes to 3. So looking at the graph, we can see when x is going to 3, the function is going to 3 as well. Alright, then we are asked For the limit as x goes to 6, so when x is going to 6, the function is going to 1. In the last part, asks for the function value at 6. So there's a little black dot there and that's at 2. And that's question 257.